Hey everyone, I'm Stacy, the 911 Stitcher. Welcome to my channel about cross stitch and crafting. Today's Wednesday, August 9th, 2023. This is video 112. So welcome back everybody. It's been about two weeks. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My videos are always about cross stitching. Anything that has to do with yarn or thread or fabric, you name it, I love it. So I have some cross stitch progress to show you. I have some finishes that I've done couple things I've purchased. Some new releases will be shown at the end of the video. Quilters, stay tuned to the end of the video because I've got a, a good giveaway for quilters and along with cross stitch. If you're familiar with my videos, it's always about anything that has to do with thread and fabric, basically, and yarn. <laughs> so anyway, let's get started. Let's talk about what's been going on. I'm still recovering from surgery. I'm very, very tired every single day. I feel good right now, but at the end of the video, I'll probably go and lay on the couch and take a nap. And that's just how it is. I do not sleep well at night right now. Every adjustment, if I have to turn or reposition myself, everything is a big deal. It's like I have to wake up, reposition myself, and that's just broken sleep. So I'm tired all the time. But right now I feel good enough to do a video. I've got lots to share with you. And so I'll just keep recovering. And I may have to go in hopefully not tomorrow or Friday. If I do, it's gonna be tomorrow or Friday to get some new stitches put back in. The doctor is not happy with the way that the incision is closing after he took the stitches out. So I may have to go back in and get more stitches. We'll see. I think they look. it looks a little better than before. Fingers crossed I won't have to go get more stitches or get them put back in, I should say. Anyway, so other than that, everything's going great. Max and Deuce are doing great. As you guys know, they're my German Shepherds. I showed them in a clip, video clip last, last video, playing in the water. They had so much fun. Everything really is going great. So I'm getting ready to leave soon. Well, in a month, September's coming. We are leaving for the UK. We're going to uh, see the city. We've already been to London several times. And this will be my husband's second trip to London with me. So we're going to do things we haven't seen before. We're going to then, I'm going to a retreat in Swindon and uh, hosted by Nicola Parkman. It's going to be wonderful. Two of my friend, really close friends will be there. And we can't wait to just all meet up and be together. And so I'm looking forward to that trip. My husband is coming with me. He's bringing his golf clubs. He's going to have so much fun. <laughs> He's going to go find the local place and sign up for some golf or play some golf mm -hmm. still kind of fighting with lighting in here lighting is weird like right now i've got the light in front of me i've got the light up here when i watched my last video i looked to me i looked kind of blown out when i looked on the ipad it looked just fine so you know what i'm not going to worry about lighting anymore as long as you can see the needlework and the things that i'm showing you that's all that matters <laughs> When there's a time when it's just me and I'm just completely covered in shadow, then we'll talk. But <laughs> I think you can see me pretty well right now. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about some questions that I had in my last video. Somebody asked about the Swindon retreat that I'm going to in the UK. She asked when, um, where was it, you know, where's the information on it? Where was it posted? And to be honest, this was last year that we signed up. I don't know. I don't remember if it was on the Hands Across the Sea website. I don't remember if it was on Nicola Parfum's Facebook group. I have no idea. I just know that it was last year we all signed up. So quite some time ago. And it's completely full. And there's a wait list. So I would imagine that's probably why you're not finding the information on the retreat. Because it's no, it's no longer open. Next year, I believe she's doing the... Great British Sampler, no, yeah, Great British Sampler Retreat, and it's going to be in New York this time. She's coming here to the, to the United States. Another question was, and, and, you know, a lot of people ask me, how do you hear about these retreats? My thing is I follow the designers. I follow Nicola Parkman. I follow all your favorite designers. Follow them on Facebook or Instagram, and they're going to post things about upcoming retreats and, you know, where they're located. Okay, Kathy was looking for ideas on how to store floss tags, kind of like what I have here on display, but she doesn't want to display them. So I'm going to you guys for some help. Do you, does anybody here have an idea of how to hang floss tags without having them on display? My thinking is if you've got a closet, put, put a rail, just like I did here. I've got, I don't know if you can see it. I don't think you can. I've showed it in previous videos. There are plastic stick-on hooks 
And then I've got an actual rod, very, very lightweight that you just place on top and then your threads are on rings. So that's how I display mine. My thinking is if you don't want them out in public display, somebody asked how, what's a good way to store them. So in comments below, put some ideas of what you think might be a good idea of how to store these without av actually having it out on display inside your room like I have. Good question. I'm thinking probably maybe if you had like a, some room in your closet, that way you can just open your closet, choose your thread, and they're hanging there real nice for you. I eventually am going to put these in, in, in um, organize them by color. I think that's going to be a lot easier. Right now they're all organized. Like this, I believe, is color in cotton over here. No, no, no. This is um, classic color works, color in cotton. Silks are down here. But it sure would be nice to have it by color instead of by, by the name of the brand. I'm not sure. I know I go searching all the time and I'm searching, searching, and I just wish I had an easier system. So I'm thinking by color might be a little bit easier. That way, if you're looking for a particular red, you just go to your red section and look and see if you have it or not. And if not, order it from say, wherever, Week Style Works, Classic Color Works, whatever. Okay, Deb asked if I watched Jackie and Shadow out of Big Bear. They are eagles. I found them. No, I have never watched them before, but I am now. <laughs> it's a live cam. We've talked about that, how I want to do a memorial piece for one of the Florida eagles that disappeared that was very close to my heart and spent a lot of time with me when I was laying in bed recovering from multiple surgeries. Harriet was there. We talked about that in previous videos. So I am watching Jackie and Shadow now. So thanks for the suggestion. Did you make the black and white tote bag that is seen hanging on your door? Now this is my Yankee bag. I'm a New York Yankee fan, huge, huge fan. And she's asking about this one. So this particular bag, this tote bag I bought at a cross stitch retreat, it's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. It's a great size, lots and lots of room. It's always hanging in the back there. So you can see, I've got stuff in there, obviously there's thread. <laughs> But I've got lots of good stuff in here. It's a huge bag, perfect for a retreat. And I bought it at a retreat. The name of the designer is Trish Vine Designs and she's on Facebook. So I follow her on Facebook. Maybe she'll list some other retreats she's at. I don't know if she takes orders. Not sure how her process works. But if you're interested in some really great bag, tote bags, check out Trish Vine Designs on Facebook. How tall, I get this question a lot, how tall is your holiday tree? Now, as you guys know, I have a holiday tree that I decorate in different seasons. Fall is coming out soon. I decorate for fall in August. And a lot of you are probably going, August? It makes me happy. And that's the final answer. It's, it's what I tell my husband. He doesn't care. He loves the decorations. He likes the color. So he, I, he knows I like to decorate for fall because August... Um, the September, October goes so fast and I want to enjoy the fall colors. So this will be changed out right now. It's patriotic, but it will be changed out to a fall tree. So uh, someone asked, a couple of people have asked, how tall is your holiday tree and where did you get it? It is 42 inches. So it's about three and a half feet tall. And I got it off Amazon. I, it actually came with two trees. I have another one I don't use in the garage. Christmas time, I put it on my porch, decorate it. This is up all the time with all kinds of different themes. One goal is an animal tree. I want to do little mini cross stitches, little animal cross stitches, on, and have it all over the tree. It's an animal theme or like a safari theme. I think that would be so cute. Gisela asked about a picture that I had at the beginning of one of my videos. She asked about this sampler. This sampler is gorgeous. And this is the name of it, Marquois Elise. It's gorgeous. So that's the name. So Gisela, I hope this gives you information on at least how to search for it. But here's the website that I cannot get to work. So I don't know what happened to their website. It's a French website. I run it through Chrome since I don't speak French. I ran it through Chrome. And here's the website. I'm going to put the link down below, but I'm telling you it won't probably won't work. So maybe I looked when the, I'll put it even closer. Maybe I looked when the website was down, but she also has another gorgeous sampler and it's called Berta DuPont. 
It was stitched by Brenda the Handwork Maniac and it's gorgeous. Berta Dumont is just gorgeous. But anyway, this is the name of it. So I hope, Gisela, this answers your question. I wish I could tell you where to find it if this website's not working. So maybe people in comments are familiar with it. If you're from France and you're familiar with this designer, let me know. But anyway, that's the name of it, Marquoire Lise, and it's gorgeous. Really, really pretty. Last question, perforated paper. People have asked about me working on perforated paper. How long does it last? Is it gonna last a long time? Let me tell you some of the perforated paper finishes that I've seen from Needlework Press at some of the retreats that I attend are amazing. And they're from the 1800s. So I don't plan on living until the next like <laughs> century. I don't care if it doesn't last that long, but if I want it to last throughout my lifetime. And I know it will because like I said, Vicki from Needlework Press has brought these antique vintage samplers that people have stitched on perforated paper from the 1800s. It's amazing. It's just amazing. Now, some of them look a little chewed up. I'll admit they look pretty grungy and chewed up, but the 1800s, I mean, seriously, it's beautiful. We also don't know how it was kept. You know, was it kept in a box where it got all messed up? You know, was it was it preserved properly? Was it, you know, did somebody just throw it in a box and just say, you know, we'll pull it out later and display it and it's all kind of munched up on the sides? We don't know the history of it, but what I do know is what I've seen from the 1800s, it's, it's amazing. They're gorgeous. So I'm gonna assume that preferred paper lasts at least through my lifetime. I'll be happy with that. A great Facebook page, I'm gonna tell you about it. It's called Perforated Paper Needlework and I'm gonna show it here. Perforated paper needlework, 1840 to 1900. And, and Vicki shows a lot of really beautiful perforated paper uh, finishes. Last question for reels this time. What iron do I use? I have two of them. Both of them are Rowenta. And I have to show you, I have had this iron forever. Now, the Rowenta I have downstairs that I use a lot with my cross stitch is big and it's really heavy. It's a really good quality Rowenta, but this one I bought years and years ago. This Rowenta is little, so compared to my hand, you can see it's pretty little. But what's funny is I have dropped it on a hard concrete surface at least three or four times. Look at how rickety it is. Look, watch. <laughs> this poor little iron is all jacked up and it still works. I love it because it's small. I can really get into the corners with this iron. And like I said, it's all, <laughs> it's all rickety. <laughs> this poor little baby. I love it. It's my favorite iron because of the size. The weight is very light. And I don't know where I got it. I've had it 100 years. So this poor baby, like I said, I've, I've dropped it so many times that it still works. I use it all the time and I'm very happy with it. Now, I don't know, Rowenta may not be someone else's favorite. So it just kind of depends what you like and, you know, try different brands. Okay, let's talk about stitch alongs. Stitch alongs, we've got some really great ones coming. Fiberlicious and Bella Filipina have combined to make a fabulous mermaid of the season stitch along, which looks like so much fun. It starts September 15th. It's four parts. Each part will be released on the 15th of the month, ending in December. So it's coming up soon and it's four, it's four mermaids. They are different seasons. So one mermaid for each season. Check out Fiberlicious website. I'm gonna link it down below if you're interested. Bella Filipina is fantastic. I'm gonna show you Snow White that I'm working on. It's called the Poison Apple, actually. It's not called, I keep calling it Snow White. I shouldn't, it's called the poison apple but anyway it's just so fun so this stitch along looks like a blast it's 21 dollars. check out fiberlicious uh yummyfibers.com they also have the prettiest needle minders to go with this stitch along now a lot of people probably wonder are you getting like a little kick because you talk about these companies i get zero and i love i don't that's how i want it i love talking about these companies they're so fun. And there was a time when I was working so much, I didn't get to hear about this stuff. I didn't get to hear about stitch alongs and these great companies that have fabric and threads and kits and they can put it all together for you. And I was working so much 16 hour shifts that I just, I'd come home and I just drop. 
And if I could just watch a video where all this information is like together, that'd be awesome. So that's my goal. That's what I try and do for you guys because you don't always hear about everything. So Fiberlicious and F Bella Filipina, check them out. They had the designer suggested the fabric called Singing in the Rain. It's a real pretty blue, but you can use any fi any fabric that you want. But I'll show the picture again of the mermaids. You can't see what they look like because it's a surprise. Here's another stitch along I'm doing. So I bought a chart many uh, months ago by Galliana Cross Stitch Designs. I talked about them in my la a couple videos back where Galliana sold her company to Historische Stickmuster. They're a German company. So thankfully her charts are still available through Dorothy, who's the owner of uh, Historische Stickmuster. Now I'll put their link down below as well. Dorothy wrote to me and said, hey, I'm gonna be doing this chart. And I go, oh my gosh, I have the same chart. I love it because it reminds me of my husband and it reminds me of my dad. So it's called The Good Life. And again, it was it's by Galliana Cross Stitch Designs, but it's now um, owned by Historische Stickmusters. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna show it up close because it's got a lot of boy stuff. It's got a lot of, I say that because my husband and his boy, his friends, they go and golf every Thursday. They go and golf all the time. You know, they love, he loves golf. He's going to Palm Springs, if you can believe this, in two weeks. It's like 114, 115 degrees. Oh my God. And he goes, hey, do you want to come with us? Because he always invites me. And I'm like, oh, hell no. <laughs> I'm not going to go to 118 degrees. I can't handle 80, 90. <laughs> I'm a cold weather girl. So anyway, this is the chart. So it's got the golf. It has fishing for my dad. Fishing is a huge part of my life. I grew up fishing and both freshwater and saltwater. So me and my dad were very, very close. And this reminds me of him, all of this here with the fish down here, the golf clubs for Rick. This is like billiards, I think, or um, snooker and pool. Anyway, it's fantastic. I love it. So Dorothy said, hey, I'm going to be doing this. And I said, oh, I have the chart. She said, well, stitch it with me. And I said, okay. So she said, let's do a stitch along. <laughs> So I said, okay. Anyway, she's starting this week. I'm starting this week. You can start anytime. She says, the good life. Starting this week, Dorothy is using multiple colors. She chose some beautiful colors. In fact, I'll show you here. I know she won't mind. Those are the colors she chose. I'm going to use a variegated background with a solid thread. And I want to see how that turns out. Now, here's what it looks like. My threads are 413 DMC. It's a steel gray, really, really pretty steel gray. Where's my thing? So you can see it's a steel gray. And then here is the fabric I'm gonna use. The fabric is by, it's from two years ago maybe. It's from uh, Fortnite Fabrics. And I don't know the color because it had two tags in it. Let me fold it in half because I can see color coming through. So that's what I'm thinking about. I'm hoping it's not too modeled, but I think with the actual steel gray thread, it's really gonna show up because it is so dark. So this is what I chose. I'm gonna see how it comes out. And I think that's just gonna be so beautiful. Another contender was one, it was called, um, it was, I don't remember the name. It's It was green. And see, even with the grays, this is going to come out because it's so dark. So I'm going to give it a try. This is what I'm going to use mine, uh, use for my stitch along. And I think it's going to be a fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. So this is by Historische Stickmuster. I always link them down below. And this is what I'll be starting this week in honor of my dad. And of course, thinking of Rick too. Um, they are on, Historische Stickmuster is offering kits. They always offer kits for their, their charts. They are on vacation. They're going to be on vacation August 12th through the 28th, but I'm sure the PDFs are probably still available. So the hashtag Galliana Sal, or here's the great part. If you want to participate, send a photo to Dorothy by mail of your progress. You do not have to finish it. After a while, she says, we will be awarding the most beautiful color combination. 
mine's a solid, so I don't think I'm going to win. <laughs> it doesn't have to be finished. The winner can choose another kit from Galliana Cross Stitch Designs. And if you're a second or third place winner, you get to choose a chart. So I think that's really cool. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. So she is giving a giveaway as well. Okay, let's talk about some retreats that are coming up for 2024. Again, people have asked me, how do you hear about these retreats? I follow needle workshops, follow, you know, follow different needle workshops that you've heard about. There's so many, there's no way I can list them all. Follow your designers on Instagram or Facebook. Stuff is always getting posted by needle workshops on Facebook or Instagram, and they'll tell you about upcoming retreats. Now, here's one that was posted on Instagram that sounded like a lot of fun because it's based on a gorgeous, gorgeous Scottish sampler. The Scottish sampler is by Margaret Hutton, and that's the name of it. And this is a lot of fun. It's going to be with Nicola Parkman in Cincinnati. Actually, it's Northern Kentucky at right by the airport. It's sponsored by the Queen City Sampler Guild, and it's a workshop. Non-members of the guild are welcome. And the workshop's based off that sampler. Now, that sampler has some specialty stitches in it. And if you're interested in learning, like I, you know, I'm interested in learning how to do certain specialty stitches. This is perfect. The workshop is going to be based on the sampler, focusing on mastering specialty stitches like the Queen Stitch, the Rice Stitch, Algerian Eyelet, all kinds of different stitches. Now, if you're interested, I'm going to show you the email to send. You send your email in the heading you put hands across the sea or hats, H-A-T-S. Last video, I showed a kit by Pole Stitches and I got a lot of people that wrote to me and said, I love the chart. I forgot to tell you what the name of the chart was and who the designer was. So I showed the fabric in the last video. It's gorgeous. It's blotchy with blues and pinks and whites. It's just so beautiful and they fully kitted it for me. It is a Joan Elliott. So last week I showed this gorgeousness. I just totally forgot to say who it was. So I wanted to show it again real quick. It's called The Winter's Gift. It is so pretty. And it is by Joan Elliott. Pole Stitches is located in the UK. Per a fantastic way to get a full kit if you want gorgeous hand dyed fabric they kitted it up for me they sent the threads they with i believe it was is it dmc yeah it looks like dmc i can't remember the threads but anyway keep an eye on their website they they have gorgeous kits available you can see how beautiful the background fabric is they send the whole thing to you but i wanted to show this again because i had forgot to mention it in the last video the winter's gift by joan elliott designs so pretty Okay, let's talk about crochet for a second. There is a website I adore. I love this website because it's all free patterns, beautiful colors. It's called Attic 24. They're located, she's located in the UK. And I've mentioned them before because of all of her free patterns. She has shown a free pattern for a bag. It's called Little Zippy Bags. And isn't this just the cutest thing? She says she crochets around a zipped canvas bag meaning the finished crochet has a built-in zipper already and a liner. How awesome. So look on the blog, Attic24. I will link that down below if you're interested in something like that. I loved it and I wanted to share it with you guys. Okay, let's talk about a new YouTuber, a new floss tuber as we call them. Let's talk about Jen, Stitchy Shenanigans. Jen is actually a good friend of mine. She's become such a good friend. She lives in Arizona. She'll tell you all about herself in her video. She likes to do cross stitch. She likes to do knitting, crochet. She puts these up. Do I have one of her pens here? She makes the most amazing writing pens. I don't have one here. They're downstairs. But she designs them with beads and she designs them with little... Um, she made one for my husband with a golf, uh, golf ball. Check out Jen's video. She'll show you different things. So stitchy shenanigans Jen stop by and say hello to her and again she is my good friend I just love Jen to death okay let's talk about some things I've been stitching I actually got on my sewing machine and took one of my cross stitches and made a finish and I'm thrilled I actually watched a couple different tutorials on how to make cording I made my own cording look at that <laughs> and let me show you my finish so this I showed a couple weeks ago is Lizzie Kate Just Be Claws. It's 2006 Snippet. 
This was stitched on 20 count vintage country mocha and I love it. I absolutely love it. I followed Helen D's cording video and Vonna Pfeiffer, the Twisted Stitchers ribbon tutorial. So is this just not the cutest thing? I mean, seriously. So I cross-stitched the face. I mean, I cross-stitched the face of the ornament. Actually, it's just gonna sit like in my dough bowls back here. At Christmas time, it'll be back there amongst all my other Christmas finishes. So let me tell you what I did. So I cross-stitched this 20 count vintage country mocha. I used DMC thread. And then I got on my sewing machine. I made it into a little mini pillow. Here's the back. And that's my finish. I think he just came out so, so cute. I really enjoyed finishing him. I, again, let's talk about the cording. Now the cording, you need a machine. It's called a little Krennic machine. Uh, Helen D will show you. Vonna Pfeiffer will also show you. How do you make this cording? This is DMC thread. This is just a strand of DMC thread, both white and red. It was my first time doing it and it actually came out just by watching Helen D's video. Then I needed a bow. So I made the bow myself and that is from Vonna Pfeiffer. I have a little bit of a shadow today. Let me see if I can, here we go with the lighting issue again. Let's see if I can, okay, that might be a little better. So the bow was super easy. I watched Ivana Pfeiffer's tutorial, added a button, and that was it. I did sew on the cording. And again, that's the back. I'm so happy with this. I think it came out super cute and I couldn't wait to show you guys. I just picked out some background fabric. I did put interfacing both on the cross stitch and the backing fabric. So that way it's a little bit stronger. And that's my finish. Finish number one. Super fun. Okay, let's go to some other finishes that have not been turned into anything yet. This is Lizzie Kate, Here Comes Santa Claus 05 Snippet. And that's my finish. It is on 20 count vintage country mocha because I love the modeling. I love this. It comes out so pretty. 20 count vintage country mocha and I use DMC. And that's my finish. He's so fun. I will probably make him into the same type of ornament since they're both Lizzie Kate's. I'm thinking about doing him the same exact way. So they kind of match. The, the you know the writing on the on the ornament here comes Santa Claus matches and I'm thinking about like I said setting them as a display in either a tear tray or a dough bowl I think that'll look really cute together so that's the other Lizzie Kate 06 no this one's 05 snippet sometimes you can find these on one two three stitch I believe really cute Okay, let's talk about another finish. This one is a little bit bigger. I'm gonna show you the chart here. Now, as you're looking at the chart, pay attention to the right side. See the sampler at the top? You've got a potted, I think it's a potted plant. I, I don't have the chart with me. The potted plant at the bottom, then you've got the date. This is Lantern Lane by Little House Needleworks, and this is my finish. So I really wanted that house to shine. I wanted it to be the star. I wanted it to be the focus. I am using an unknown color. It was a one-of-a-kind fabric from Roxy Floss Company. Roxy Floss Company is located on evertotes.ca. So this is my finish. I think it came out really pretty. And I wish it wasn't shadowed so much, but I love the veins. The veins of the fabric is what I really like the most. And I just think it came out really, really pretty just the way it is. So what else did I change? I added a tree of the same size. I basically mirrored, I took it down the middle. I mirrored each side, the tree. I centered the border to make sure that the border was centered right in the middle of the, the thing of the house. I had it turned a little bit, the border, cause I liked the way Rita did it. So basically I copied my friend and I liked how the white really shows. When it comes to white, I like it to show. I like it to be bright. I don't want it to be lost. I don't want the white to be lost. So I really like how it, it shows really well. I'll show it one more time up close, but I just think this came out so well. 
It's so pretty. But that's my finish on Lantern Lane. I'm hoping to have it as a flat fold where it stands up like a like an A-frame type of finish. And yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's talk about some new starts. I have one. And this is my camp piece for Sherry, the Colorado Cross Stitchers, uh, last and final of the year camp piece. August theme was stitch on something you haven't stitched before. So it could be a fabric, it could be a thread, a chart, a designer that you've never stitched before. I have never stitched maximum cross stitch. And this is her new release that she just released not long ago. So maximum cross stitch, this is what the whole thing looks like. And she was laughing, Ellen was laughing because it's called Helena Monk 1904. And Helena had a unique way of doing the alphabet. I don't know if she didn't pay attention in school, but some of her letters are not right. <laughs> and she just threw like letters in there. Like, which one did I stitch? Oh, the G. Okay, so E, let's see, where is it? E, F, G. What? That doesn't even look like a G. <laughs> so uh, Ellen, the, the designer was saying, check out her funky, her funky progress. Uh, just ignore the thread that's hanging in the back. You'll see a thread. So this is my progress so far on Helena Monk, 1904. This is available on MaximumCrossStitch.com. And I like how it's turning out. It's little. It's on 56 Count Cafe LA. And it's teeny tiny, teeny, teeny, tiny stitches. I am using Tulip. The color is Tulip, and it's by Belsois Silk, so it's a real pretty silk. So that's one of my projects that I'm working on. Let's talk about the Poison Apple, the Snow White version by Bella Filipina. I showed that last week, or two weeks ago, and I got so many responses on it. It's beautiful, beautiful. Colors are just gorgeous. Now, as you guys know, fancy ladies like this use not only just thread, they use beads, treasure braid for sparkle they use krennic for sparkle they have um bigger beads like uh what are they called embellishments basically this is the poison apple and she's so pretty so i added the really pretty bow in her hair i added hair and i actually got quite a bit of progress on her so you can see here, eee, the glare, the progress. Isn't she beautiful? This fabric is 32 Count Honey by Bee Stitch Me. And I think she's, I'm gonna show her up close. You're not gonna be able to see the sparkly krennic that her lips are. Her lips are sparkly. That's all I've added so far as far as krennic and as far as uh, treasure braid sparkle. I have not added beads yet, but anyway, she's really pretty. She just has the sweetest face and I'll continue working on her it, through the month of August. This is actually a stitch along with Kenny Stitches. He's on YouTube and it's his birthday week, uh, birthday month. So we're celebrating by doing any kind of fictional character, literature. And I chose the poison apple because she's Snow White. I think she's beautiful. Let me show the chart up close so you guys can see beautiful. I hope you guys can see. I feel like there's a little bit of a shadow today. Okay, the next one I'm working on is a Mill Hill kit. It's called the Enchanted Pumpkin. And this is just so fun. It's so pretty. I am working on filling in all that orange, but you can see I've got all this progress done. I am going to finish the orange up in here. Here's the picture. And that's what it's going to look like finished. So lots and lots and lots of orange. Lots of orange, but I'm almost done. I do have a little bit more orange to do inside the pumpkin and around the outside. And then I'll start attaching beads. I'll get a frame and then it'll be done. It's going to be beautiful. I saw this on a model at Barefoot Needle Arts in um, Surfside Beach in South Carolina. It was gorgeous and I had to buy it immediately. So that's my progress on Enchanted Pumpkin by Mill Hill. Last but not least, we have Watermelon Tourmaline. This is a favorite. Lots of people love this. 
It's by Carolyn Manning Designs. It's gorgeous, fantastically gorgeous. And I love it. I think it's so, so pretty. Watermelon tourmaline, 32 count, and I am doing it on Dusty Road by Seraphim Fabrics and DMC. But isn't that just the prettiest colors of DMC? I really like that. I'll show it up close. Yeah, see, that's where the shadow comes in. It looks better, I think, back here. But anyway, I worked all in here. I got all of this part, hey, I got all of this part done in here and got a lot of progress on it, actually. So Watermelon Tourmaline by Carolyn Manning. And now I'm gonna start getting into the green. It is kind of built like a watermelon. You're gonna have a lot of pink on the outside. And then, I don't remember. Oh yeah, okay, so I had to look at the chart. So a pink on the outside, green circle right here. So pretty. So that's my progress. Let's talk about giveaway winners. In the last video, we had four giveaways and I'll be happy to send them to you as soon as I hear from you. The first thing that I have a giveaway is this blue and yellow fabric. It is so pretty. It's by Fortnite Fabrics. I didn't want to take it out of the container because it's, I didn't want it to get dirty. So 32 count Fortnite Fabrics. The winner is Joanne Seeger 5271. So Joanne, congratulations. Send me an email. I'll post it here. And I will get your fabric out to you. Fabric number two was the Tan Lugana called Ophelia. This is a little harder to see because of this bad lighting today, but that's about, that looks about pretty good right here. Ophelia is also 32 count. And we have a winner, Dave F6594. Congratulations, Dave. Next, Tis Halloween. I had a duplicate book of this. This is a great book on little mini stockings. I love this book. Tis Halloween by Blackbird Designs. The winner is Southern Yankee Stitcher. Congratulations and send me an email. Next, As the Crow Flies by Prairie Schooler. I had two of these. I believe one of these was a donated chart. No marks at all. It's in perfect condition. So the winner of As the Crow Flies is Treetop Stitcher. Congratulations, Treetop Stitcher. I'll hear from you guys and I'll get them out to you as soon as I can. Let's talk about a few new releases and then I'm gonna talk giveaways and we'll be we'll uh, end the video. New releases, let's talk about Sarah Pettinell 1824 from Just Stitching Along. Just Stitching Along, she has an Etsy shop and this is adorable, it's beautiful. Next we have by the Blue Flower, we have Forest Home. This I love. I love all of them. And then to, I'll show these two together. Autumn Bee and Spooky Autumn Smalls. Next we have by Primrose Cottage. I'm going to try showing all five together. I only have the name of two of them. Leaves of Autumn and Autumn on the Farm. Keep an eye on Primrose Cottage Designs Facebook group and Instagram, and I'm sure she'll post the names eventually. Now, as you guys know, Needlework, what's it called? Not Galleria, Needleworkers Market is coming up at the end of August. What does that mean to me and you? We're gonna get a lot of awesome charts coming out, brand new charts. It is a virtual online thing for designers only and shops. So watch your local needlework shop or some or whatever whoever you follow because there's a lot of new charts coming out. So many, there's no way I can show them all. I mean, there's a lot of them coming out. Last week of August, I believe. Heart and hand, we have a new tiny town. It is called Harvest Tiny Town. So cute. And then I'm gonna show these together, the Wee Santa and Harvest Frill. Last but not least, Cottage Garden Sampling has a new snowman in their series called The Pirate. I love that ship. The ship is amazing. And look at the little snowman at the very front of the ship. He's so cute. Let me show you a few things that I bought. Just a couple things. I ended up, was I cannot believe that I was able to grab this beautiful, gorgeous project bag from Deborah Harry Designs. Now, I don't know if this is gonna show. 
Deborah Harry's is on Etsy and her bags are beautiful. I was able to grab one of these. The Netherlands has always been a very special, very, very special place for me. I grew up with a neighbor that was Dutch. She taught me Dutch. I can understand a little. I, I'm kind of losing it a lot, you know, the older that, you, that I've gotten. But I understand a little bit. And anyway, this bag is just gorgeous. So I had to have it. It reminds me of Dory. Dory is my next, Dory and Jerry. Dory is my next door neighbor. And um, growing up at my dad's house, it. we always planned on taking a trip. We never did. I've been to the Netherlands, but not with Dory. The two of us always wanted to go together. She was like a second mom. So that's beautiful. That is just amazing. So Deborah Harry's on Etsy. I got some more Victoria Clayton silks because they're so, they're very affordable. I'm gonna put Victoria Clayton's email down, or her website down below. Very affordable threads and beautiful to work with. They're fantastic. So I got some more reds and I got some more black. They come on spools. I prefer to take them off the spool because the spools always it pop out of my hands, roll into the couch. <laughs> so I put them on floss tag, thread tags. I did get some more Hemingway by Needle and Flax. This is hard to get. It's 46 count. And it's becoming harder and harder to get because I think because it's so popular. But Hemingway's gorgeous. Um, do I still have my bag? I've got my thing. Anyway, here's the Hemingway. It's a beautiful brown. So I got some more of that in 46 count. Fat Quarter Shop has sent some amazing giveaways. They have sent some more bags. These bags are fantastic. I'll be doing future giveaways with these amazing size project bags. They were so nice to send this, uh, send this to us. We have lots of future giveaways. Quilters, I mentioned before, we're going to have a giveaway with fun, all, all kinds of quilting supplies and actual, where's the chart? They have, they sent some charts. I'll go through all of these. The chicken series will have future giveaways. We've got stitch cards. This is all giveaways for you guys from the Fat Quarter Shop. Stitchy stars. I believe this is a quilt. So I'm gonna throw I'm gonna put together a quilt package. Quilters. At the end of this video, I'm gonna have some giveaways, and one of them is gonna be a quilt package. The stackables, the stackables are so much fun by It's So Emma. So cute. You are my sunshine. That's beautiful. Look at that beach scene. Isn't that cute? And then we have Edna in the chicken series. We have Edna. She's so cute. <laughs> I'm going to stick some of these out because we'll do those today as a giveaway. Welcome. That's pretty. That would be pretty in a home. Uh, Hattie. Look at Hattie. <laughs> She's so cute. Okay, so quilters. This is what I'm thinking. I'm going to put together a big package. If you're interested in cross stitch, I mean, um, quilting patterns, not only do I have lots of quilting patterns from the Fat Quarter Shop, like this one is called Upbeat. So not only do I have these, I also have the paper that they sent. Like for instance, this one on how to make this square and you use the foundation paper and it's a whole set of it. So I'm gonna put together a quilting giveaway. We'll talk about giveaways in a minute. More stackables. I'm going to actually combine the stackables. If you're doing stackables and you're interested, this is going to be another giveaway because I've got lots of stackables. I'm going to put them all together and I'll ship them to you guys. Another stackable that I thought was so pretty is February. I thought that was beautiful. Um, another chart I got, I can't remember. Now, this I bought myself. This is Tweet Hearts. This is so pretty. Tweet Hearts is by Heart and Hand. Boy, the glare is bad today. I feel like I'm shadowed and I've got glare. So that's really cute. Okay, let's talk about giveaways for a second for this video. We always have to tell people you have to be the age of 18 and you're more than welcome to enter for more than one giveaway. Also, in the comments, you're going to put a comment down below this video and make sure and tell me where you're from. The reason being, 
I announce giveaway winners only on my video. Keep in mind, if you get a comment, it's spam. If someone replies to your comment and says, oh, you won, it's spam and just ignore it. It's not me. I only announce it live on my video, just like right now. So say you wanna put in for the stackables, just put, I'm gonna tell you what giveaways I'm giving away this video, comment down below. And remember, if there's a reply that says you won on your comment, ignore it, it's not me. I will announce winners in my next video. Okay, so let's talk about some giveaways. First one, oh, and the other thing, when you comment down below, make sure and tell me where you're from. If I didn't already explain this, because I've re-recorded this a couple different times, put where you're from. Just put, I'm from Tennessee. I'm from France. And that way, when you, if you win, I can look at your comment and go, okay, she's from France. So if I get somebody like a spammer writing to me, telling me, oh, I won the giveaway. I'm in um, California. You're lying because the person that made the actual comment lives in Tennessee. So that's what I do is I match. I mail internationally. So feel free to enter no matter where you live. Just put in your comment, I live in South Dakota. I live in Australia. Okay, so I have a really pretty piece of fabric. Let me put my glasses on so I can read it. It is 16 count, fiber on a whim, Ada. And it's so pretty, look at that purple. Oh my goodness. On your comment down below, you can put number one, because this is giveaway number one, 16 count, put purple fabric. I'm interested in the purple fabric. I live in Maryland. Perfect. Okay, next giveaway was something given to me to give to you as a giveaway. It's from a viewer. This came from the Silver Needle, and it looks like maybe it was a retreat piece and or a stitching circle, but it's called the Blue Flower. I'm going to take it out. Here's the chart, brand new, and it's the B. It's called Autumn B. It's fully kitted, the Blue Flower. So this kit is a giveaway. If you're interested in that chart, here's what was given. Now this looks a little messy. It actually is not, it's knotted, it's silk. If you're interested in trying silk, they're actually knotted just like this. So all you have to do is pull it apart real carefully. And the colors are pretty obvious. It's listed in the chart as well. So like I said, when you get your giveaway and you look at this and go, oh, that looks kind of like a mess. It's really not, it's just, the way that it traveled probably in the mail. So here's what it looks like. Silk floss for sure. And then here's the fabric. Can you see the fabric? The fabric, I think they said, I don't think I wrote it down. It's small, it looks to me like a 32 count. So, and it's green. Can you see the green? So they changed the fabric. You can always change the fabric. 32 count, it feels like Ada. It's a very, it's a little bit stiff, but I believe it is a 32 count or maybe 40, 28, I can't tell. So if you're interested in this kit, again, this is the chart, the B, blue flower, autumn, it's called Autumn B, and it comes with fabric, green, it comes with the silk bundles and a needle. This was all put together by a viewer who got this from the Silver Needle. You're more than welcome to it. What you're gonna do is put the B kit, B-E-E, -E, B double E. So this will be your kit. If you're interested in Autumn B, just put, I'm interested in the B kit, B-E-E. -E. Okay, let's do a giveaway from the Fat Quarter Shop. Let's do You Are My Sunshine. This is so pretty. Meet me at the beach. You are my, you are my, and then it's a picture of a sun. And it's beautiful. You're going to put the beach chart. The beach chart. Okay, that's your next one. If you are doing stackables, I'm going to put these all together. There's July, March, February, and June. All of these. These are so cute. All the stackable charts are gonna to be together. So if you're doing the series, this is perfect because that way you can have them all. I would put, let's do the stackable charts. Stack, oh, the glare is so bad today. Stackables charts. 
This is going to come to you all together as one. Quilters. I have lots of quilting charts from the Fat Quarter Shop. Lots of them. And what else I have is the paper, the foundation paper. I'm going to put together a whole package full of charts of uh, charts in the paper from Fat Quarter Shop and send to one winner a whole quilting package. So what you're going to put is quilting package. That's your giveaway. If you're a quilter and you're interested, you're more than welcome to them. Here's another one. If I didn't show those already, different sizes of sunburst. And I have more I'm going to send you guys as well. So one winner will win the quilting package. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for joining me. Put in for giveaways. Oh, I also forgot to say, don't say the word giveaway or free or prize so the spam people can stay away. List your country. Um, ignore spam comments if you get them. I will see you in a couple of weeks. Feel free to enter for more than one giveaway. I hope you guys are doing good as well. Take care. I'll see you soon.